I haven't seen anybody live. Don't ask me that question. Hey guys, welcome back to Listography. Jason Kramzer and Joe here, about to count down our picks for our 10 favorite Shin songs. Who wants to go first? I can I can start this one off. Number 10 for me from Port of Mara, I got Fall of 82. It's kind of got this nice melody, chill horns. It has a less nice 90s vibe to it. Uh, number nine, it's gonna be Turn a Square. Great 60s vibe, cool, like real dissonant guitar solo in the middle. Number eight is gonna be The Rifle Spiral from Port of Mara as well. It's kind of shockingly electronic when you first hear it. It's got an interesting story. Apparently it's about terrorism or something I learned, but it's kind of just a good driving electronic beat to it. Uh, number seven is going to be St. Simon. It's got this cool Baroque 60s style that I really like, obviously, because that is my favorite style. Uh, nice vocal mix to it. Number six from O oh Inverted World, Know Your Onion. I think this is the first Shin song I ever heard. It's just catchy, cheeky. I love the kind of fake female vocals that kind of pop in towards the end of the song. Number five is going to be So Says I. Very up-tempo, catchy, very kind of representative, I think, of Mercer's style uh, developed on uh, Shoots Too Narrow. Number four, also from Shoots Too Narrow, Fighting in a Sack. Again, it's kind of like how I associate the shin sounding. Number three, uh, from part of Maro, Simple Song, which was written a lot earlier, I think might influence how much I like it. I love the lyrics, uh, the marching kind of drums. I think the vocals might be his best singular vocal performance. Uh, number two is going to be New Slang. It didn't change my life like Natalie Portman said it would, but just a really great song. Great lyrics, very kind of morose, but catchy at the same time. And my number one from my least favorite album, the only song I like from that album, Phantom Limb. Great fuzz bass to start the song. I think the lyrics are incredibly good. They're going to show up twice. They're so good on my um, top lyrics list, which we'll be doing next. It's just kind of a perfect composition, just everything about it. The instrumentation, another phenomenal vocal performance. You know, James Mercer has an incredible voice and I think he really uses that to its peak on Phantom Limb. I knew that was going to be your number one. I knew it. It's a perfect, it's literally a perfect song, I feel. What do you got, Jason? Let me go next. All right. A lot of my list is from Shoots to Nera. Just forewarning you. Um, number 10 for me is going to be Young Pilgrims. Number nine, I've got one of Cramger's least favorite tracks from When Singing the Night Away, Split Needles. Uh, number eight, I've got So Says I from Shoots Too Narrow. Number seven, I've got Kissing the Lipless. Really love the guitar tone on this song. It's just the right amount of distortion. And the mix on this song is kind of like simultaneously tiny and massive at the same time somehow. Number six, I've got Turn On Me from uh, Wincing the Night Away again. And then I got their kind of big breakout hit. At uh, number five with New Slang from O oh Inverted World. Love the melody, love the lyrics, uh, great song. Number four, I have Turn a Square from Shoots Too Narrow. Uh, the rest of this list actually from Shoots Too Narrow. I've also got Pink Bullets at number three. St. Simon at number two, maybe my favorite a melody of his, especially in the chorus. And then at number one, I have Gone for Good. Really comes down to the pedal steel for me. A great country rock song. Really love it. Uh, yeah, I had a note of that guitar sound for Gone for Good, and I forgot to mention it. Well said. I don't have any sh songs from Shoots to Narrow. I'm all right taking the heat for my unlove for Shoots to Narrow. I do really like it. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, but St. Simon was the last one I had to cut, so it's kind of my number 11. My number 10 is going to be from Port Tomorrow, No Way Down. It's dancey, it's catchy, it's got these kind of mystical guitar taps behind it, which I really like. A really nice summer guitar uh, twang to it. Number nine from Wincing the Night Away, Phantom Limb, Joe's right. Love that fuzzy bass and the 60s kind of simple drum part. Maybe their catchiest chorus, and it's just, oh, oh, oh. it's so awesome. I love it. 
Um, it is the summer of 2007 to me in a way. Number eight from O Inverted World is Caring is Creepy. As soon as I hear the whistling, I, it just takes me back to when I was 15 or 16 years old. Love the loose guitar playing on it. Also from the same album at number seven is going to be Know Your Onion. It is really youthful. I love the pimp pimply and angry line. It's garagey, it's kinksy and catchy all at the same time. Number six, same album, The Celibate Life. Love the lyrics, love the little hazy um, lead guitar. I like how the drums and the acoustic strumming are working together. Number five from the newest one is, or I'm sorry, from Fort Morrow, It's Only Life. Slow, jammy, has the most of kind of those pet sounds element to it with the piano I was talking about in the other video. It's nice and dreamy. Number four is Fantasy Island, which is that big um, contradiction I was talking about on the album uh, Heartworms, where I love some of the overproduction and I hate it. This is the occasion where I love it. And I think it's the only song that has like a big, sprawling, urban, big city feel to it. I think most of their stuff gives you either a beach or like a small town vibe. And this one seems a little <sighs> metropolitan to me, which I like. Number three is gonna be Girl on the Wing from O Inverted World. It's got a really nice cymbal crashing, backing vocal, server rock element to it. And then my number one and number two are going to be from Wincing the Night Away. Number two is Girl Sailor. Um, I love the, the song's lyrics. It's about kind of this squabble in a relationship, kind of um, puppy love fighting. And then number one, I think their best poppiest song with probably my favorite lyrics of theirs, Turn On Me. It's got just a simple, great guitar lead. Love it. Could have been a number one sing uh, single in 1967. Yeah, great. Those are my top 10. Cool. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, like the video, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. We will be back shortly with a new video talking about our favorite Shin's lyrics, so keep an eye out for that. And we will see you next time.